1911, been around for over a hundred years and is more popular today than ever. And the one thing about the 1911 is there are a lot of different pistols out there and that means there's a lot of accessories. And so you don't need to settle for just basic. Here we have some Ho grips that came on this Springfield Champion. And while I really like the contrast, I've really been wanting something a little more personalized. And so I've gone from the Ho grips to this. A really nice set of grips to go on your pistol and to really set it apart. And these Timbersmith 1911 grips are just fantastic. And look at that skull pattern. And then you have your finger pads here. Really a nice solid grip. The fit next to the frame is extremely tight. The skull design is nice, but it's not overt. I guess I'm a little cautious if I ever need to use this pistol in a self-defense situation. I don't want the grips to scream, you know, vigilante or I'm out to get someone. So I really like the skull motif, but I like it very subdued. The finger pads are a nice touch right here, and they look laser etched, so it's a really nice feel to it. It has some aggressiveness, but not too aggressive. There's definitely the textured feel, but again, you're not going to have something rough riding on your fingers and hands. And I think that's going to be nice, especially with a 45 caliber. Shooting with these grips, it's really smooth, but it does give you a little bit of texturing, but it is very comfortable in the hand. And that's with a single hand or two-handed grip. Now, when Timbersmith was designing these grips, they wanted to make sure that it was very precise. I mean, there's a lot of other type grips out on the market for the 1911. And these are a wood plastic composite. And it's the density of hardwood, acrylic, a polycarbonate, and of brass. But you're getting a lot of strength with the look and the richness of wood. Now, these grips have also been heated and pressurized. It has a hardwood veneer as a finish and it's a high grade resin. So it's going to give strength and durability to the grips and it's going to keep its shape. It's completely weather and moisture resistant. Now when I remove these grips, just to show you the back and to show you a few features up close, the tolerances are so tight on this grip that it was somewhat difficult to remove it off the frame, which is comforting because that's one of the things you're not going to get is any movement whatsoever with these grips. Of course, the grip screw bushing should hold those in place. When you're putting these grips on your pistol, you want to make sure that you have it parallel to be able to meet with the screw bushings. You can tell that is a really tight fit, but it's really nice. Bringing these grip panels down, making sure that it's even with the bushings. A nice little snap. Now because of the materials used in these grips, you don't have to be too concerned about them cracking. And that's a really good feature to have. They're going to withstand a lot of abuse in a lot of places. And if you're like me, I love to shoot. And my handguns end up in a lot of different places and different situations. Now it does come in a number of different styles. In fact, there are five styles total. And they do the standard veteran, which is a diamond checkered pattern which is traditional military uh, they have the Laredo pattern which has kind of a western flair to it and still checkered the trooper is more of a smooth with a ridged pad on it and then the lariat which I really like as well is a basket weave with finger pads so there's a lot of different choices and of course you have the skull pattern as well uh, these run on the Timbersmith website for $39.99 and that's the manufacturer's suggested retail price. You might be able to find those somewhere cheaper online if you look, maybe Amazon, some places. But I have yet to see a lot of the skull patterns out there, which when I was at the NRA show in Houston this past year, that's where I was first introduced to the Timbersmith grips. And Timbersmith is owned by Tapco. And Tapco, of course, makes a ton of different AR-15, AK, SKS, Mini-14, and other accessories. The Timbersmith line is kind of their wood division and they do stocks for the AK and the SKS. And I have an SKS stock from Timbersmith that is incredible. So in fact I'm getting ready to do some upgrades to that rifle with some 20 round magazines and some other things. So you'll be seeing that coming up soon. But I've had that Timbersmith stock for at least a year, maybe two years. And I really love that stock system. And Timbersmith is making some really high quality products made right here in the USA, in fact, down in Georgia. So it's great to be able to have companies that are innovative, that are making great products for the firearm industry. 
You can go to TimbersmithUSA.com to see all the different styles and the different wood types that they use with these grips. Plus, again, the SKS and the AK stocks as well. The Timbersmith grips rock. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. It does give a little texture, but... And so it's really neat. Very just blatant out there uh, skulls. Now these are dyed with a hardwood veneer, and then they are impregnated with... Now these are dyed with hard... Now the grips are dyed with a hardwood veneer, and this is a... Um, the Timbersmith, the Timbersmith Glock. <laughs>